Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I will talk about benefit verification. Now, this might be an interesting topic uh, for you uh, if you have experience uh, dealing with insurance and the nightmares, right? So um, let me let me give an example from a New Zealand perspective. I presume it will be similar uh, everywhere. Let's say um, you have a specialist appointment right let's say to uh to check your uh say kidney um uh, kidney stones right a simple example right a urologist right to be precise um and after you had a meeting with the urologist your let's say uh if he asks you like if you if he or she asks you a question, right? I might do you have a do you have insurance? And you say, Yeah, I do have insurance. Okay, it's pretty cool. And imagine, you know, if they decides to run uh you know, they decides to fill the form and then and then send it to the insurance uh agency and then uh, uh to be told after a week that ah oh, this guy don't have insurance, his insurance has been expired. So now that's a problem, right? Obviously, your specialist won't get paid. And if you don't have the money, so it's not really a good look, right? Either way. Or other scenario, what might happen, right? You might have said, hey, I have insurance. And they will, they say, okay, give, give us your information. So you write down that information for them. And then you're not really sure if they're going to file the insurance or you'll be doing it, right? So let's say you decide to file, um, you know, based on the invoice, what they gave you. And at the same time, you know, uh, maybe, you know, you're new to that clinic. And if the clinic has a policy to file on behalf of you. So imagine, you know, the insurance company receiving a duplicate uh, claim. So they might reject it thinking, mm, <clears throat> excuse me, what's going on? They will say, right? So that can cause a bit of delay, right? That can cause a frustration. And another thing might be, right, uh, what might happen is that your insurance agency might be bought out by someone else. So they need pre-authorization. Uh, so without, what that means is that, right, so if when you file a claim, they won't automatically authorize it. You might have to they request a few information before. So these kind of things cause a lot of frustration to a patient as well as to a care provider. This is not really great, right? And if, if a care provider is, is working on old school, right, technology, where they have to manually fill the form and email it to them, then mm, it can cause delay, and you're not 100% sure whether the person really has an insurance. You're going by the word of mouth uh, from that patient to say, or, you, 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 or in other words, you're trusting the guy, the patient, to say, hey, um, you have an insurance, we trust you, so we're going to give you free treatment, and you can go home, right? That's fine, but what can happen, right? Like I like give you an example, right? What if, you know, that thing didn't work, right? Then it's just a bad uh, situation to be in, I guess, for both of the people, right? So just to solve the problem, Health Cloud has that functionality where you can verify that information um, because you need to connect uh, to the network and yeah the tiny setup you need to configure and then you're good to go right so that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate today just to make uh, to uh, to show you how easy it is to set up the verification and benefit and verification process uh, in health cloud and so yeah so let's say child screen right decides to visit specialist again and based on the previous information, a uh, specialist uh, wanted to make sure that they recheck your uh, insurance claim um, just to make sure that the insurance is active and so that they don't have any hidden surprise at the last minute, right? So, so to do that, the first thing first, US Salesforce Admin needs to make sure a few things, okay? So... What I need to do, you go to setup, right? And under setup, mm, so you go under, I'll uh, just type the benefit, right? 
So benefit verification, this needs to be active, right? And then you go to the benefit verification settings, okay? So here, therefore now they they put the the dummy uh, benefit verification mark. So if I go here, so you have an Apex class, uh, which pretty much. So this is an Apex mark. And so you're creating a record under verification setting, which pretty much talk to your benefit uh, the insurance agency, right? And this is the default API. Uh, this is a dummy API just for to the mock, just to give you a demo, right? But in real life, you need to connect to the real uh, system. Okay. All right. So that's done, right? So this part, remember this. This, this is important. If, if you really wanted to so hook up to a specific insurance provider. Um, and yeah, so the care type limit, you don't really have to worry about it at this stage. Okay. So hmm. now you might, uh, okay, so that's, that's fine. Now, one thing you need to do, right? So if you wanted to see the relationship, uh, verification, sorry, if you wanted to see the benefit, um, and the verification process, you need to add that component to an account page so that you can see that information, all right? So let's go to account, and I'll show you in my account. Um, so let's take an example of the child screen, a favorite guy. Okay, interesting. Come on. So Charles Green, the same guy. Now, um, I wanted to verify uh, if this guy has the you know a valid coverage for this treatment. Okay. So, so how to do that? You need to put the benefit option to the page layout. Now, this is very simple. Uh, so if you go to your page, edit page, right, under account, and go here. So this is the component you're looking for. Benefit verifications, you just need to drag and drop here, which I've done, right? Pretty simple. Okay, and I'll go back. And now, as you can see that, this car has a benefit uh, option here. So you can see that um, the coverage benefit details, the plan level benefit, and all kind of stuff you can see here. Yeah. And if I wanted to check the, the verify benefit, so I can do that and see verification successful. So that's great. So that means this person is eligible. So, and this is active, right? So you can proceed with the treatment, right? Um, and if I want to look at the coverage benefit details, you can see that all this stuff. Now this be, uh, you must be thinking, right? What is it? You remember I talked about um, something about, um, the benefits, uh, wait a second. Care type limit, care limit type. So that's one of it. Right, B, uh, and now you must be thinking, what the heck is B, right? So, all right, come on. Mm. Okay, so this is co-payment, right? And then you have this allowance and kind of stuff, right? So this is the way you can, um, you know, measure stuff, and. And you can verify the benefit, and as you can see, there, right, everything is centralized. You can you can pretty much verify from the same screen. How cool is that, right? I mean, you don't really have to fill out the old fancy, you know, Excel, um, or not Excel, right? Just Power, uh, sorry, not PowerPoint, uh, editable PDFs, right, uh, which you can use to submit the claims. I've done that a few times, right? I've done that a lot a year ago. Um, uh, so, I mean, usually, like I said, right, 
in New Zealand, you don't really have to worry about medical insurance, but some companies do provide. Like one of the, the one of the firm I worked in the past, they had medical ins- specialist insurance options, so which is pretty cool, right? Um, usually in New Zealand, right, the big companies uh, sometimes provide, not all the time, but the smaller ones are more proactive in providing the insurance because obviously they want to retain the people, right? They want to hire the best talent. So uh, providing a medical insurance is a kind of a perk, okay? So some people appreciate that. Some people say, hey, I want, you know, so that's one of the things uh, I wanted to mention, right? Uh, like if you're in the United States, you know, more often, right? You need to have insurance for every damn thing there. So... So yeah, that's what it is, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining or blaming. I'm just saying this is what I heard, right? If, correct me if I'm wrong. If you think my information is outdated, um, I'm happy to be corrected, right? So, so yeah, this is, this is all I wanted to demonstrate. You can see how cool is that, right? From one page, you just verify benefit, done and dusted, right? You don't have to worry about a few things later. So that being said, that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode. Hope you guys have an amazing uh, Monday.